Chance, Part Two. I've been taking care of Maria's health for a long time now. I used to be a frequent guest at your house. These days, I come around less and less, thankfully. Dr. Ilya, I don't know what happened. Mom and I have been following your advice to the T. She took her medication regularly. She even exercised. Maria is prohibited from experiencing any kind of stress. We stopped the onset today, but what about tomorrow? Heaven only knows. <laughs> Dr. Ilya, you're talking about me in the third person. Hello, I'm still alive here, goodness sake. If you keep following my advice, I promise you, we'll get to party at your grandson's wedding together. <laughs> no, I can promise you that, but only if you let me go home. I strongly recommend against that. You need to spend at least three days in the hospital. Andre, let's go and sign some documents. It's just a formality. Mrs. Maria, please forgive me. I'm so sorry, really. I didn't want to upset you so badly. Well, we're definitely not going anywhere now. We'll stay with you. I really have no right to hold you back, but frankly, I'm quite glad. But you never told me what happened at that party. Don't leave me in the dark. Was it something bad? Not really. It's something between you and Andre, right? Oof. I'm so silly, aren't I? You fell in love, didn't you? You did, and now you're ashamed because you... You're afraid of me judging you for marrying one brother and falling for the other one, isn't that right? Come here, my dear. Well, come, come, come closer. My darling, I've been around for quite a while. I understand everything. I'm not going to judge you for how you're feeling, dear. Even back in the Old Testament days, no one wore mourning for more than a year. You're young. You shouldn't bury yourself like this. I'd, I'd be happy if Andre and you were together. Everything's set. All the exams have been scheduled. Mom, it'll take three days. You'll have to sit tight. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It has to be done. So Stas is asleep. We have a few hours now. I want to take you someplace. What place? That's a secret. Gosh, how mysterious. Mm -hmm. What is this place? You'll find out. <laughs> well, color me intrigued. Now just relax. <laughs> Easier said than done. No, look here. The thumb of the left hand is under the right hand thumb. Like that. Don't straighten your elbows all the way. Bend them a little. Don't raise your shoulders. Focus on the muzzle sight. <sighs> Andre, look, I can't do it. I think I want to stop. You can do it. Come on now. That's right. Like that. Bend the elbows a bit. Now hold your breath and slowly pull the trigger with your finger there. Now go on. Pull it. It's a hit. Oh my god, I've hit it! Keep going. <laughs> That's so cool. Great job. <laughs> so then. That's not bad for a first try. <laughs> Can I have another go? Have some patience.
What's that? Lita, I love you. I always want you to be here with me. I want to hold your hand and look into your eyes to see your smile. Do you love me? Say yes or you're gonna have to kill me. Because I can't live without you. You've learned how to shoot. <laughs> it's up to you now. Lita, why do you keep holding on to me? Mrs. I'm not an old wreck. I can move around quite well, you know. Come on. Andre, your mother won't let me take care of her. Quit <laughs> treating me like an invalid. Now to my room. Don't see me off, the both of you, please. <sighs> What's wrong now? What? Andre. I think I should tell you everything. What do you mean? This is far from easy. You're going to need to know about my past. <sighs> do you love me? Yes. Then I couldn't care less about your past. I only care about our present. I need my bag. Guys, where is it? <gasps> Andre. Lida. What is this? <laughs> Seems like we've been caught red-handed. We'll just have to confess. <clears throat> Mother. <clears throat> Mom. Thing is, Lita and I are in love. Uh, Mrs. Maria. Mother. Goodness. Madame Maria. Andre, get the drops. What drops, guys? Go and get the champagne right now. Uh, Are you sure? Absolutely. <gasps> I wish you great happiness. I'm so happy for you. Mrs. Maria. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, ma'am, it's for you. Who is it? I don't know, they didn't say. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Zenya Sokolova. Is a guilty conscience eating you up yet? I know all about you. You stole someone's life. Got nothing to say? I can't talk right now. Call me later, please. Lita, who was on the phone? It was the tailor. I gave them a dress. It's ready. <laughs> My children. <laughs> the older you get, the more value you put on time. It's quite precious. And therefore, if you really love each other as you do, don't hesitate with the wedding. I know what I'm saying. I'm 100% sure of my love. And you? Me? Well, why, of course. Lida. My sweetheart. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> to the most beautiful bride and groom in all the world. <laughs> Oh, 
goodness. It's perfect. Fits you like a glove. Yes, but I think it's a bit too long, don't you think? Well, we have a tailor shop. We could always trim a little. Uh-huh. This dress is incredible. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Well, my dear, you know clothes don't make a woman. It's the other way around. <laughs> oh. Come on, girls. Let's go pick out the shoes. What size do you wear? 36. Okay, that's a four. Give me a moment. So what's it like to be rich? Feels nice, doesn't it? Stole someone's name, snuck into their family. You've got some nerve. <laughs> what do you want? There's a place across the street, a cafe. I'll be waiting for you. Who are you? And look, these here are English. They're a very exclusive model. Whoa. Hmm? My gosh, so precious. Wow, they're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woman who scams others for personal gain. Nine letters, nothing across. Hmm. What do you want? Nine letters, oof. Are you marrying you? Huh? Oh, cool. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Did you lose your memory? We met about a year ago now. Think back, Sokolova. You worked at the hospital that I was taken to after the crash that day. Brain functions working fine, Sokolova. Which means you won't weasel your way out of this. But why are you calling me Sokolova? My family name's Kazaranova. <laughs> oh, right. When they brought you to the hospital, a passport in that name was found in your pocket. And no one batted an eye, even though you kept rambling about saving this Lida and Stas. But no one paid any attention to it. Well, that figures because you were dealing with a head injury. But you really surprised me. How? <sighs> You had asked to call your mother. Who really wouldn't call for their mother, even if she's gone? You told me your mother lives in Batrovo. You gave me the full phone number. I've checked. I looked through that passport of Lida Kazaranova. The ID picture was almost completely destroyed. That's why everyone thought you were Lida. But I can't seem to figure out how that passport could have ended up in your pocket. Maybe that's because that was my passport. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> what about the blood type? The blood? Mm-hmm. Your blood type is A positive. And according to Lida Kazaranova's prenatal record, it should be O negative. <sighs> the internet is a great thing. Look familiar? <laughs> I found out there were two pregnant women on that bus. The other one is named Sokolova, Zenya. You know you're wanted all across the country. I mean, were, because you're dead, after all. Why now, though? What were you waiting an entire year for? I wanted to make sure they weren't going to show you the door that you would gain their trust. Honey, I have great plans for what you. What do you want? Money? Yeah. It's so cliche. How much? <sighs> this figure will be quite all right. No. No, I don't have that much. Find it. Because next time I'm not going to call you, I'll call you-know-who. I give you a week, that's all.
Lita, I've been looking at wedding agencies to take care of your wedding. There's this one. They have very good recommendations. Mrs. Maria, whatever you choose, I trust you. They will handle all of the fuss. All we have to do is choose the rings. And the agency, you know, they sent us a very nice catalog. Here, come here, please, please. Take a seat, please, and look here. Look. To be honest, I've already gone through it. May I recommend something? Huh? Look, look. I like this one, huh? What do you think? Hmm? No, it's way too expensive, no. Oh, I knew it. Lita, well, don't think about the price. Do you like the ring itself? Honestly. Honestly. I don't. It's very flashy. And I think it's ritzy. I like simple rings without stones. Well, all right, if you say so. You seem tired, dear. Is everything okay? I've got a headache. It's because of insomnia. Go now, go to bed. I'll make you some chamomile tea. That sounds good. Here's the tea. Maybe you'd like a pill for your head? No, thanks. I just need a good night's sleep. I can go right ahead and take Mrs. Stops. Maria, he's sound asleep. No need to. I promise if he raises hell, I'll take him to you. <laughs> well, all right. That's settled. Sleep you go. Help yourself. Go on. You've decided on the plainest one, haven't you? Not quite. I thought I should listen to your... opinion instead of the one I formed. <laughs> How wonderful. You'll look at that ring and it'll remind you of me someday. <laughs> How about... That one there. <gasps> a great choice, I must say. A great choice. You know, they say that if a wedding ring has diamonds in it, they'll surely celebrate their diamond wedding anniversary. <laughs> well, try it on. Does it fit? Yes. Perfect match. Want to take that one? Yes, of course. Can we pay with a credit card? Yes, of course you can. Here you go. And maybe we should engrave the names on them. Do you have that option here? I imagine you would. Yes, we'll do it. What do you think? Can you hear me? What? Oh, yeah, the names, the names. That's really nice. That's a great idea. What are the names of the bride and groom? Zenia and Andre. Honey, who's Zenia? Are you okay? Something the matter? Lida and Andre. Sure thing. <sighs> Mrs. Maria, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's all because of that stuff yesterday. Is it those headaches again? Yes. It's like a fog. It's hard to think. You're a little flush. Look, I think you should go see a doctor. Constant <laughs> headaches after a trauma like that. That can't be any good. I will. I'll book an appointment. Here you go, ma'am. Your card. Thanks so much. And the receipt. Yes. A pricey little thing. So you'd like a copy then? Yeah. A and a copy of this ring too.
We've decided to wear the genuine ones on special occasions. Then use the copies for every day. Sounds reasonable. How much time will it take to copy them? It's hard to say precisely. About two weeks, though. Oh no, that's way too long for me. I unfortunately only have six days. Have mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Mm. Andre, would you like to see the rings Lita and I picked out today? Mom, look. I don't have an eye for that. I trust your taste completely. But Lita picked them out herself. Mm-hmm. This is an exceptional case. This time our tastes have matched completely. Mm. Lita, show them after dinner. <laughs> Mrs. Maria, I think it'd be a bad omen. <laughs> Darling, a bad omen is when the groom sees the wedding dress. I don't want to argue, but I'm convinced it's the rings that the groom shouldn't see before the wedding. <laughs> you think so? We'll call Capitolina and she'll settle the argument for us. Mom, who cares about what Capitolina says? I'm sorry, but really... Well, if Lita doesn't want to show the rings before the wedding, so be it. Why upset the bride anyway? Lita's nervous as it is. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, young lady. I'm all ears and ready for you. Goodness. How much would you give me for these? They're expensive. I see that. They're brand new, I assure you. We've just bought them. Then why are you selling them to me? We need money. So then, how much for them? If you bought them, then you'd happen to have a receipt, perhaps? I knew it'd come in handy. <clears throat> uh, you know, I could give you half the price. Half the price? Ma'am, if you want, we could put them out for sale, but they have engravings on them. It's on them both. We'll have to remove them, and that's a lot of work. All right, let's do it. I agree. I'll take the money. Mm-hmm. So, this is for us. This is for you right there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Andre, look. I received a text from the bank. A text? The bank card I gave Lita. It's been drained. <laughs> Did she take all the money? Well, it appears so, yes. No, it's just weird. She she didn't take a penny all year, and now she goes and, and takes it all? There's a reason for that? I have no idea. No, I don't want you to think I'm being a Scrooge. God, just... I'm such an idiot. Wait, what? It's a wedding present. She must be preparing something for me, don't you think? She might be. Thank you, Mom. Huh. You've gone and saved me. You got it all? <laughs> From the looks of it, you're doing quite well. Are we even? You don't have to worry about it, Lita Casaranova. You won't see me again. 
Goodbye to you. Good evening. Good evening. Andre. I love you so much. Hmm? What am I going to do? Good evening, Mrs. Maria. Andre, I could use your help. Are you still working on that stupid list? <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you were done with uh -huh, it. That's what I thought. I've just got to Dad's relatives, and we already have a whole phone book of people here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're going to need to seat that whole crowd somehow. I'm already <laughs> sacrificing myself for you over here. Appreciate it. I do. Mom, you're the best in the world. Mm -hmm. mm. Andre, tell me, this invite here, Rudik, want him there? Absolutely. Hmm. Wouldn't be a wedding without a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, that's not funny. No. Well, then cross him out without a shade of regret. I'm crossing him out. Cross him out. It's done now. <laughs> Alita, what about those on your side? Uh, well, I don't have anyone. <laughs> what do you mean, child? Uh, what about that friend of yours, the, the one you visited in the countryside? She's just delivered a baby. She has no time. Well, then, someone you knew from work? I really don't keep in touch. That's quite strange. I've never seen a person who doesn't have anybody. People do accumulate friends, acquaintances, colleagues in their life, right? I guess, but I'm not social. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I've never noticed that. I'm glad, actually. At least no one's going to distract you from the main event at the wedding. The main event? Don't you know what the main event is? The groom, of course. <laughs> the groom. I thought it'd be the bride. That info's dated. Good night, Mrs. Maria. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stas has been asleep for a while, and I can't get a wink of sleep myself. Um, ask Capitolina. She'll make you some chamomile tea. I'm allergic to it. Really? It's a bad one. I instantly get a full body rash. <laughs> ask her to make some with Melissa. Mm. <laughs> Thing is, I'm allergic to all herbs. Boy, I sure am lucky to marry a chronically ill picky, man. Picky, 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 picky. I'm not hopeless. There is one cure. <laughs> Andre... Andre, I really need to let Lena go. Don't worry about it. Nina won't desert her post. I know her. Until you come back. Even if you don't come back until morning. <laughs> and what is she going to think? That we're passionate. Madly. Avidly. Loving each other as if we might die tomorrow. You agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to the tailor's after dinner to order a new dress for myself. 
Lita, will you come with me? Mm -mm. I can't, unfortunately. The pediatrician's coming at Stas's routine examination. Oh, yes, that's right. How could I forget? Hm? How many times do I have to tell you? There's no one here by that name, idiot. Nina, calm down. Who was it? I'm sorry, Mrs. Maria. Some pranksters. They keep calling all morning, asking for some Venya Zokolova. I'm fed up with it. Nina. Yes? If they call again, let me talk to them. Yes, sir. You'll have to excuse me. I have to make a call I forgot to make. Hello? What is it? We talked about this. You don't call here and you don't show up anymore. Oh, honey. It's not easy to forget about a golden goose, so I thought it over and made a decision. I feel your secret's worth a lot more. You waste of space. Now, you shouldn't call me names or make me angry. It's not in your best interest. So I'll be waiting for you in an hour. Okay, I'll be there. Is something wrong? <sighs> Nothing. I just need some fresh air. And the pediatrician? I'll try to be back on time. Back me up, can you? You know, I've grown to love Moscow. This city, it's so beautiful, so modern, vibrant. It's a far cry from the country. It's rotten there. <laughs> So I was walking back to the train station when I realized that I'm not going to pay anymore. You'll have to. Moscow is an expensive city, which is why the ransom is going to have to be doubled. Or tripled. Then I'll leave you. You have my word. But you won't. Because why should I trust you? <laughs> well, that's understandable, but you don't have a choice. I can't. Yeah. I did everything I could, I really did. I just don't have any money left. Everything? <laughs> well, use your imagination. You could stage a robbery, a kidnapping. Think along those lines. Those lines? <sighs> Here's the deal. You give your son to me. You go back, acting all distraught. Say you were beaten and that your baby was taken, and they demanded a ransom. I'll bet right now, your mother-in-law will pay up. I will not ever do that. Suit yourself. It's a good plan. Pity. Start thinking where you'll get that money from then. I'll give it some thought. You have two days. Meet me here in two days, same time, same place. You aren't leaving already, are you? Have dessert, I'll pay. <laughs> yes. yes, that'll do. Uh huh. My baby. <laughs> I've just fed him a while ago. Mrs. Maria went out. She had to run errands. Did the doctor come? Yes. Maria was with him. I was helping out in the kitchen. You're so precious. Thanks so much, Nina. Mm-hmm. Go. I'll take it from here. Okay. <gasps> hey there. Hey, baby. Andre. Why weren't you answering your phone? I was out of the room. I've just gotten back home. Back already? Yeah. You don't sound too happy. You feeling okay? I'm all right. Just a little headache, but it's fine. I took a pill. It should be okay. I'll book you a doctor's appointment. No, don't, Andre. How about the shooting range? A great idea. I'll text you what time I'll be by to pick you up. Bye now. 
I love you. I love you too. Hey, you. <laughs> The clock's ticking. You have two days, remember? Come on now. Let your anger out and everything you've been bottling up. So what? Feeling better? Would you ever kill a human? If someone tried to take you away from me, yeah. He's good as dead. Why did you ask me that? No reason, it just came to mind us all. Can I shoot more? Okay. Alright then. That's why we're here, right? Be my guest. Did you find the money? I didn't. So we're gonna go through with my kidnapping plan? There's gonna be no kidnapping. This will be our last meeting. I've decided to confess it all. <laughs> You're bluffing. Can't fool me. I can't take it anymore. I can't keep living in constant fear. That does it. I realize you'll lose everything. He loves me, he'll forgive me. And if he doesn't? If not, then I get what I deserve. Are you stupid or something? You do understand he's gonna show you and your kid the door and that's the best case scenario. In the worst case, he and his mommy would call the cops on you for fraud. And then all your old deeds will come to light anyway. How about using your head? That's none of your concern. No, you're bluffing. Hey, Xenia, wait. Xenia, wait. Um, I'll cut the price. Um, bring me the same amount you gave me the last time we did business. Deal? There will be no money. <clears throat> Hi, Sunshine. I'm sorry, I'm horribly busy right now. I'll call you back in an hour. I'm having a meeting. Andre, can we meet up? I'm by the office at our restaurant. What's going on? You were right. I am a fraud. I've deceived you, my dear. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I was so scared for my son and me. If they found out I was alive, they'd kill me, that's for sure. Why don't you say anything? Tell me why. 
Jesus, say something. I'm begging you. I don't know what to do anymore. Andre. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know everything I said was absolutely horrible. But I love you. I don't know how I could live without you. Please forgive me. Andre, Andre, don't go. <laughs> Mr. Andre, we're here now. Thank you, here is just fine. Excuse me, Sergey. It looks like something's wrong with the gate or the doorbell. Let me in. I was ordered not to let you in, ma'am. Step away from the gates. Ordered by who? Are you out of your mind? My son's in there. Open the gate now. Go away. I'm asking you nicely. Andre? Andre, what? <gasps> What's going on? All of your stuff's here. Andre! Andre! Don't! Don't! Wait a sec! Andre! Andre! Yeah. I understand you're mad at me, and rightfully so. I'm not so blind not to see that. Andre, I beg you, let me go get the baby. I will take Stas, and you'll never see us again. Why'd you give the kid my brother's name? Was that part of the plan, too? It wasn't, Andre. He saved us. I thought that... You sure know how to spin things, don't you? That isn't true. No. Let me in, I beg you. You can't just take my child away from me. Why can't I? I have every right to do so. According to his birth certificate, he is Stasek Kazarinova, my nephew. Who are you, then? What? I'm his mother. Oh, really? Thing is, his mother died. You can't. You can't. That's not true. I am his mother. Any DNA test will prove that. And so what? Are you gonna go to the police? Tell them you're Zenya Sokolova? They'll throw you in jail on the spot. No. Andre, no. Andre! Andre, give me my child back. He's my son. I won't leave without him. You're Please no mother. Give him to me. Andre. You're nothing but scum. The kid will be much better off without you. No, don't go. Please don't go. You can't do this, Andre. Let me in. You can't do this to me. Please. I'm begging you, Andre. I beg you. <laughs> Go away. Don't sit around here. I'm asking you nice to go, or I'll have to call the police.
don't, Go dear. away, mother. Don't, son, I beg you, please. Please stop, I beg you. Calm down, please. Jesus Christ, I can't wrap my head around it all. How could this happen to us? Why? Why did this happen? I had some suspicions, too. She... She even called herself Senya that one time. Why did I dismiss that? Oh, God. Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm, I'm so sorry, son. This is all my fault. Please, please forgive me. It was me who brought her here. You told me, and I didn't listen. Forgive me. Please, my boy, forgive me. Can I have a sausage roll? Yeah, thanks. So what did you say I should hire you for? You can't work in the kitchen. You need health papers for that. Uh, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the kitchen. I mean, I could mop floors. Anything. I'd take any job. <laughs> Without a passport? What made you think that would ever work out? You don't have to formalize it. I really, really need money. What if an inspector shows up? Who's gonna have their butt kicked? You or me? Hey, stop right there, Tolia. What is this? For the love of God. I asked for potatoes, remember? Not some kind of yams. Potatoes! And dirty. With bumps as well. And what Zina, is this? I messed up. Take it. Where would it go now? They won't accept a return. And what am I supposed to do with it? Here's the deal. The potatoes, you take these back. Now go. Take it back. Gosh, this is some kind of nightmare. So what were you telling me now? That you're low on cash? That's right. I need something to live on. Seems strange, huh? Your bag's expensive there. That's Italian. Your hands look well-groomed. And you don't have any money? Come on now, what happened? I just have to know more about how your story goes. I... I came to Moscow. My ID was stolen and... Look, why does it matter to you? Will you hire me or not? I can't. You need to go. Don't even try to change my mind. I see. Why don't you buy the bag? Take it, it's nice. It was barely ever used. Oh yeah, sure. I'd love to, I'll always for a deal. A penny pincher for life. You want a piece of advice? Personally? Don't lick the dust. Yeah, I don't really care. Mopping some floors, being a janitor isn't something for you. Go out and make up with your man, you got that? That's impossible. Well, suit yourself. Come in, come in, don't be afraid. I have a lot of stuff around. I've been working here for four years already, you know? Time does fly. Faster than you think. Oh, watch your head right there. You all right? Here, take a look. Here's the bed. Here's the table. You can dine here. Right, if you can't sleep, you can watch the TV. 
Yes, yes, it's all right. It's better than nothing. Hey, do you uh, get any inspections around here? Like what? Well, maybe do the police show up? Uh, ask for registration, oh, no, a passport. No, don't worry about it. The, the boss is buying them off. It's really oh. no problem now. Oh, though. I see. Uh, they take that off the paycheck? Hey, only the nimble will survive. Works here in Russia and in Tajikistan. It's all the same. Just don't think about it. Come on, make yourself at home. Go on. And at night, I'll bring the hot plate and the kettle, okay? Thank you. All right. The number you've dialed cannot accept this call. Please leave your message after the tone. Andre, pick up the phone. Andre, I've been calling you every single solitary day for two weeks now. I beg you, pick up the phone, please. Just answer my call. I warned you I'm not going anywhere without Stas. I will not leave you alone. Oh, you again. Who is that? Who's that woman? Why is she walking with Stas? The Masters have hired a nanny. Haven't you heard? And now, if you'll excuse me, you'll have to step away. Am I speaking Chinese here? Go away, please. No trespassers are allowed. Listen. Let me in, please. Let me in. That is my son over there. Do you understand that? Just for a moment. I'll just hug him, then I'll leave. I'm going to say it again. No trespassers are allowed. I'm sorry. Understand, I'm asking you nicely, but I can be a lot less nice. She came back again. Who's that? You know perfectly well who, sweetheart. No, I don't. And I don't want to know. Maybe we should talk to her. So you're going to forgive her? I don't know. But taking a child from a mother is really over the top. I feel sorry for her. 
Don't you feel sorry for Son, me? Son, I understand, but imagine. Imagine how she must be suffering without Stas. Mother, she's been lying to us all this time. Did she think about our feelings back then? No, she's a shameless fraud, and she has no consideration for me. She did confess to everything. On her own. And that should mean something. Andre. Andre, wait a sec. Andre, listen to me. Talk to me. I beg you. We have nothing to talk about. <sighs> yes. Yes, I understand. Anyway, you'd have to register as a, a corporate entity officially. Well, in your case, as a physical party. Of course, we can re-execute it. Yes. And all your documents will be ready in a week. I can guarantee you that. Tops, of course, sure. <gasps> hey, watch where you're going, miss, would you? Jesus. I'm sorry. It's all Very right. sorry. Call you back. Here. Again, I'm sorry. Would really. you please just go? <sighs> Andre. Andre, listen to me. If you wanted to punish me, then believe me, I've learned a good lesson, but I beg you, please give me back my son. I can't. Imagine having your most precious thing taken away from you. Nice try there, but your tears mean nothing to me. Why are you doing this? You're not like this, I know it. You're different, you're kind. I love you, Andre. I feel for you, but I don't want to see you. You disgust me. <gasps> what should I do then? Get lost. You are nobody. You don't even exist. I guess you're right. I hope you'll take good care of my son. I'll do a better job than you. There. You idiot! Calm down, you crazy woman! Andre, Andre, I can't, I can't live without you. Andre, I cannot live without you. I cannot live without you. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. You fool, my I little fool. You. I love it's you okay. so much. Calm, calm, calm. Promise me one thing. You'll never lie to me. I promise. I'll take my family name. No, it's way too dangerous. What should we do? 
Casarinova. We'll get married as soon as we can. We'll legitimize it all. Well, how are you? You feeling okay? <laughs> then let's go. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a nice Christmas tree. Oh, what a nice tree we have here, yes. <sighs> Stas! <sighs> My baby! My dear sweet boy, you're so beautiful, my baby. Uh, I missed you so much. You're with me. You're with me. Mrs. Maria. Mrs. Maria, forgive me, please. I really do owe you an apology. I beg you, give me a chance. I promise. I promise. I will... I'll do anything. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> What shall I call you, though, from here on out? Xenia. Oh, my baby. <laughs> So beautiful. Yeah. I never imagined that my daughter's wedding would be anything like this. Mrs. Galena, I do hope this is going to be the only time our children get married. <laughs> so this wedding should be unforgettable, oh, shouldn't it? Oh, yes. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, attention everyone. Let's give a round of applause to our newlyweds. And here they are now, Andre and Xenia. Congratulations. My beautiful baby. Oh, she looks great. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how are you? Sweetie. <laughs> Our very dear newlyweds, on behalf of all the guests present, I'd like to congratulate you on the creation of your family, and I'd like to announce the newlyweds' very first dance. That bitch. Yeah. Mr. Gennady, someone for you. Who is it? Some old broad. Is she hot? Says she's got some info on a case. Something that might interest you. No way. I've had my share of that for the day. Just tell her to come back tomorrow. It's Sokolova's case. You've been investigating it, remember? She was a suspect in Vadim Grek's murder. Bring her in. Good evening.
Is that her? One and the same. I don't believe in doppelgangers. And who's the chick that gave you the info? Ah, she's as nasty as they come, Vasily. She'd do anything to throw dirt on Sokolova. She threatened to raise a big stink to sell the story. Oh, wow. Don't want that, do we? Sokolova's dead, and that suits us fine. Well, I haven't proceeded with the statement yet, but you know how it is. I can't keep it in my desk for much longer. And we've still got to deal with the informant. Oh, I agree. We don't need any troublemakers. We love peace. And some quiet. And sometimes dead quiet. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. We'll fix it all, okay? Minimum bloodshed, maximum result. I'm not worried about that loser. Sokolova, on the other hand, she's got some serious relatives now. They'll come looking for her. So what? Let them look. You know, lots of people go missing across the country these days. There she goes. I'll go. Let's do this. Why? Why did you bring me here? Eat up, it's getting cold. <laughs> Open the door. Let me out of here now! So, Andre, does your wife have enemies? Or maybe some jealous haters? Maybe someone from her past? You have to understand, I'm not being nosy here. I understand. This might have something to do with the kidnapping. A year ago, my wife lived in another town. I saw you in my apartment. I recognize you from the night Vadim was murdered. This story is really quite extraordinary. Do you think the people who killed Xenia's friend have something to do with her kidnapping? Everything's possible. What do they want? Some payback? I don't recommend you thinking for the criminals. Talk to me. Are they gonna kill her? Well, I'll call the District Department of Internal Affairs, where the victim worked. Yeah, that's what she told mm. me. What's his last name? Unfortunately, I didn't ask. It's okay. We'll find him. Think I'm gonna tell anyone about you? Or of Vadim? You think I'd go to the police? I haven't done that so far. I beg you, let me go. I swear I won't tell anyone anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. Everyone wants that. 
Let me go, please. Have mercy. Not so fast. I need you to give me an honest answer to a question I have. Your friend there, Vadim, found some papers before he died. Where are they? Papers? I don't know. There weren't any papers. <sighs> Think again, dear. If there weren't any papers, there was something else. A USB drive. A CD. A memory card, maybe. I want you to focus. Tell me, did he give you anything? He didn't. I don't remember. Well, then you'll just... have to stay here and really think it over, sweetheart. Wait. Wait. Please don't go. I do remember something. I hadn't seen Vadim for several months. Then I opened the door, and there he was. He said he missed me. This is for you. Spent all day looking for it. I think it really looks good. What did he give you? A pendant. A weird looking one. Could it be a USB drive? I don't know, I guess it could. You need it? I'll bring it here. I will. I'll go home. I'll go straight home and get it. Looks like you really have something to offer now. Why not? I know what it looks like. I'm the only one who knows where it is. You're gonna have to share this little secret. Just whisper in my ear what and where it is. What do you mean? No. No, you're... you're not gonna break into my house, are you? Chill out. You do want it all to end well for you and your loved ones, don't you? Tell me, where is the pendant? Go ahead. Unburden yourself. And you... You'll let me go? You'd be free as a bird. You're still here. Why haven't they called yet? You should take a nap. You haven't slept for two days now. How is Doss? He's moody all the time. Barely put him to bed. It's as if he feels something's wrong with Mommy. It's a good thing Galena left, and now she doesn't have to go through this nightmare. I don't want to tell her yet, at least not until we find something out. Yes, that's right. Don't tell her. Well, let's just hope for the best. I can stay right here next to the phone. Try to get some sleep. I just can't. You need your strength. Who knows what awaits us down the road. I'll stay here. And you should go. Come on, go. Come on, go.
Damn! Hey! Give me a lift. This is an emergency. Where to? I'll show you. Wait. Okay. Follow that car there. Hurry. You from the police? Uh, I am. Sort of. I'll pay a lot. Hello, Anatoly. There's been a new development. Andre, why are you whispering? What's wrong? I caught someone I didn't know in my house. Where? In Zenya's bedroom. He had gotten in through the window. Was looking for something in her desk. Did you manage to get a good look at him? I followed him. Right. What's the address? It's in a cottage estate, Sosnovi. Kluchevaya Street, 5. I've got it. Stay right where you are. Do not try to do anything. My team and I will be there in 30 minutes, 40 max. Do you understand? I think Zenya's here. Don't do anything. I'm telling you, stay where you are. Don't move a muscle. Listen to what I say. The signal's bad here. I can't hear you. Anatoly, please hurry. Andre. Vova, let's move out. Come on, get your guys. Thank you, sir. I always keep my word. Go ahead, count it. I won't take offense. I don't think so. I trust you. You can only trust yourself. Remember that, and you'll go far. Go. The driver will take you wherever you ask. What is it? What is it? Oh. Andre the man in the flesh. I'm so glad to see you. Where is my wife? Okay, all right. Let's lay out our cards. You've got the royal flush right now. Take me to her. Okay, okay. That can be. We've had a nice chat, her and I. But she shouldn't overstay. What are you waiting for? Go on, go in there. Oh, no way. We'll go together. <laughs> See, you're afraid. <sighs> A good host sees to their guests. Take your belt off. Take the belt off of your pants. Turn around. Tie him up. Make it tight. Tighter. That's right. Now then, get on the floor. Face down. Don't do anything stupid or I'll blow his brains out. Let's go. I wouldn't do that. Put the gun on the ground. Easy, easy now, easy, easy. Let her go. Let the girl out now. Ah! 
Looks like you're free to go. Andre asked me to let you go, and I couldn't say no to that. Andre? Andre? Andre! Shh, 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 shh. Listen to me. Listen to me. There's a car outside the gates. The driver will take you. No, no, Get I out won't of leave. Here. No, I won't. Andre! 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 <sighs> Holy friggin' hell. Andre. You won't believe this, Vasily. I was actually afraid. And what about him? Uh, uh, Andre? What else? Get them to the nearest forest, will you? Got you. The building is surrounded. I repeat, the building is surrounded. Come out one at a time. Keep your Damn. hands in the air. Okay, change of plans. You have a chance to survive. Come on, all right now. Give her to me. No. No! Come on, come on, come on. Hey, calm down. Calm down. You're one incredibly lucky lady. Ah! You're gonna have to listen to me, got it? Bastard, get your hands off of me! Gun! Now walk slowly. I said move. Let's go now. Move it already. Come on now. Heads up! I've got a hostage. Now back off. I'm warning you. I have nothing to lose. Hold your fire! Move your people away! Give your orders. Move back! That's much better. And no funny business, you guys. We're gonna go to my car. You'll have to drive. We aren't just gonna let him leave. What do you suggest? You want him to shoot Kazaranova? He's gonna kill her anyway. Release the hostage right now. We'll give you a plane and money. We'll help you get away. The police aren't going to touch you, I can guarantee that. This chick's the only guarantee I have. My bulletproof shield. Taking the hostage isn't going to happen. Don't make it worse for yourself. Just let the lady go. I really don't think so. Nobody follows me. I better not see anyone. Not a single soul. Get in the car. Take it easy. Are you okay? Andre! 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 Oh, you're alive! Oh my god! Honey, honey! I was so scared! I was so scared I lost you! How are you? Are you okay? Oh, talk to me! Talk to me! I'm fine, honey, I'm fine. <laughs> you have two days now. Andre, stop. Stop, Andre, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I won't even have time to pack. I don't even have a swimsuit. I need to shop. Mm -hmm. Besides, what about Stas? What about Stas? I've talked to him. He doesn't mind. <laughs> you know exactly <laughs> what I mean you do. We'd have to drag a ton of stuff and the child along, too. That means mm -hmm. diapers, rattle boxes, toys, wipes, and that's two suitcases for the child alone. We have to pack it. Get it there, unpack it. Come on, please. Let's not go anywhere. My love, you're thinking the wrong things. It's a week of serenity <laughs> and complete happiness. Just sun, sea, and the beach. The beach, the beach, which means suntan lotions after suntan lotions. We're under We will buy everything there. Positive. I am. Mr. Andre, <laughs> sir? 
Mr. Anatoly's waiting for you. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Hello. I came to tell you that the prosecutors brought the case to trial. Is Lepotnikov up for kidnapping? Among a lot of things he's got to repent for. He used to be a small-time crook, robbed some small shops in the country, eventually got himself a seat in Parliament, became not just Lippa, but Alexander Lepotnikov, a very respectable man in the government. The kiosk became a thing of the past, but his criminal habits stayed the same. <laughs> Did he abuse his official position? Over and above. Had his hands in the regional budget, taking bribes across the region. And Vadim found out about it. Now, here is where all of the proof of Lepotnikov's guilt was. But now it's just an accessory here. This is what, what I was kidnapped for. And what they shot Vadim for. Yes. So my wife is no longer a suspect? Of course not. Xenia is, however, a witness in the case. You'll have to appear as a witness in court, but it's just a formality. The prosecution has enough evidence and proof to lock Lepatnikov up for a long of time. Of course, we'll be there. Andre, I think we should put the vacation off, too. When does it begin? I'll let you know. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Of course. Mr. Anatoly. Yes? Thanks so much. For everything. The pleasure was mine. I suggest you don't lose sight of her again. <laughs> Thank God. Xenia, Andre, come here quickly. Come on, come on. Stas. Where's your mama? Oh, we're just doing so well. <gasps> Look, I was worried you would miss it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my, my little baby, aren't you? Oh, that's my brave boy. Mom, you don't have to oh. yell like that. We thought something happened to Stas. It did. Our baby's making his first steps, and you almost missed it. Yes, you did, huh? Look, look at how brave you are, dear. Oh, oh look. Our little strong man, right? <laughs>